Daily Pink Slip. From elbowing a Picasso masterpiece to a Monet burned in a massive fire, we're taking a look at seven priceless pieces of art accidentally damaged or destroyed you've never heard of. Number 7. This painting of Picasso's mistress with a penis as part of her face has had several owners. In 2001, casino mogul Steve Wynn bought Le Rave for an estimated $60 million. In 2006, he decided to sell the painting and Steve got together with some of his more famous friends, including Barbara Walters, to announce that he was selling. Well, he done goofed. Mr. Wynn accidentally put his elbow straight through the canvas, making a 6-inch tear. After a $90,000 repair, the painting was revalued at $85 million, which was way less than he was going to sell it for. For. Wynn made an insurance claim with Lloyds of London, but they didn't want to pay, so he sued them and settled out of court. In 2013, he finally sold the Picasso for $155 million. Number 6. In 2006, Nick Flynn was enjoying a visit to the Fitzwilliam Museum in Cambridge, England. While walking down a staircase, he tripped over his own untied shoelace and flailed right into three Qing Dynasty vases, bringing them crashing to the floor. He simply got up and walked out. Later, he saw the security footage of his dumb ass on TV with the message, Have you seen this man? He still didn't turn himself in, and three months later, a bunch of police officers busted down his door and arrested him. The vases were worth between four and five hundred thousand dollars. They were able to restore all three vases and of course Mr. Flynn has been permanently banned from visiting the museum. Number 5. Artist Lucian Freud, not to be confused with Sigmund Freud, was known for crafting erotic works and melting faces. His stuff is valuable. Freud himself sold this painting for $33 million, the highest ever for a work by a living artist. In 2000, an oil painting of plants, kind of like this one, was shipped to Sotheby's auction house. It was inside a wooden crate in the storeroom, but a couple of porters thought it was empty. So they chucked the whole thing into the nearest trash compactor. By the time anybody realized the mistake, the painting was well on its way to the incinerator where it was lost forever. The painting was worth an estimated $180,000. Sotheby's has apparently never seen a single sitcom because they made no effort to paint another version really quick before the showing. Number 4. In 1954, artist Graham Sutherland was commissioned to paint a full-length portrait of Sir Winston Churchill. This painting was to be presented to the Prime Minister at a public ceremony on his 80th birthday. Working from these photographs, Sutherland painted a realistic depiction of Churchill. Instead of a flattering portrait, the result was an overweight old man sitting slumped in a chair. Both Churchill and his wife hated this thing. During the unveiling, he said that it was a remarkable example of modern art, and he wasn't being nice. It was brought back to Churchill's home and never displayed. After his death, Lady Churchill had her private secretary take the painting away where it was burned in a remote location and presumably pissed on. Number 3. Another piece by Picasso, simply titled The Painter, was also lost. In 1998, the famous painting was loaded into the cargo hold of Swiss Air Flight 111. When flying from New York City to Switzerland, the pilots sent out a distress signal. They tried to make an emergency landing in Nova Scotia, but crashed into the Atlantic Ocean, killing everyone on board. When sorting through the debris, only a tiny scrap of the painting was recovered. The Picasso was worth about one and a half million dollars. Also on board were roughly half a billion dollars in diamonds and jewels, which were also not recovered. Number 2. Vincent van Gogh created close to 2,000 pieces of art in his lifetime. Of those 2,000, only six paintings are known to have been lost forever. In 1888, van Gogh created The Painter on His Way to Work. This was a self-portrait of the artist walking down the road carrying painting supplies. It was last hung in the Kaiser Friedrich Museum in Berlin. It was then destroyed by fire during World War II. Unfortunately, the Monuments Men didn't save this one in time. Number 1. In 1957, New York City's Museum of Modern Art acquired two of Claude Monet's famous water lilies paintings. Just one year later, a group of workers were installing an air conditioner and decided to take a smoke break, right near a bunch of sawdust paint cans and a bone-dry canvas drop cloth. You guessed it, the canvas caught fire and it spread quickly. Museum staff rushed to save the paintings near the fire, but the huge 18-foot water lilies painting was completely engulfed. Many attempts to restore the second, less damaged Monet were also unsuccessful. Successful. Bummer. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We put up brand new videos every week, so hit that subscribe button and you won't miss a single one. And remember, if you watched this video at work and you still have a job, then you just dodged the Daily Pink Slip.